John Rule, let's see some flowers on the tenth. On the tenth of twenty of July, twenty seventeen. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, here's some lobelia plants, and th this one is great blue. And in the background, we're going to see the cardinal flower. Yeah, and uh, low water. The the great blue lobelia is the most interesting. Mm -hmm. In many ways, spectacular. but it's not as spectacular as cardinal flower. No, of course no. Not. I mean, you, you can't beat that. You got those on your river, your bayou, don't you? Yeah, I have them on the, on the creek, right? Yeah. Every year. And uh, we'll also see the uh, other lobelia, will be the uh, downy. Two more lobelia. five, seven. Yeah. Uh huh. So there, there's uh, the. Uh, down in Lobelia, and we'll probably have some more of those. There's just so many of those, and, and they're they're beautiful little flowers. They're tiny, right? So you know, obviously, I crop to get I pictures see. that big. Yeah. Passion flower. Yeah, and it's it's almost pure white. You you see some color in the background there, but right. people think they're all brighter pink. You know, oh, I say that you see. Most of the time, I mean, right, right. some pure white ones exist too. I've had pictures in the past, but this is one from this is actually from Moral Peace Wetland Prairie. Um, right, River Roads. Yeah, and and see that uh, critter. Oh, and, I do. Yeah, a I young, see his long antennae. Long horned uh, grasshopper. Yeah. Uh, a baby one. Right. Turks cap lily. And some. And what's that to the left? Uh, Flocks. Flocks. Yeah, flocks. And these things are all over town. Okay, this is out at 112 Prairie, 112 Drive-In Prairie. Yeah. And I've, I've got a, a few cropped in here to, to show uh -huh. some of the detail. See an interesting insect there, but he's not showing enough of himself to, to right. get a full identification. And this is milkweed with pods with insects on them. And sneezeweed, sneed. That's a better sneezeweed. Well, it's okay. it's sneeze the weed. one that's in the spring, whatever it is. Right. They all grow at different parts of the year, yeah, season. And uh, here's Hertella with uh, beautiful spider rear end. Yeah, and I'm sorry I didn't look his name up, but he's very much like a bolus or something we right. see all yeah, the time. Like but a this one has spider, a lot. Yeah. Color, doesn't he? And what? I mean, I, he wouldn't turn around and talk no, to him. Right. He wouldn't face the camera. Okay, you can see a lot of. Uh, um, Those are typical colors for the uh, milkweed feeders on beet on milkweed. Yeah, and they'll eat every yeah. every seed inside this that pot if they can get to it. Right. And here's the. Right uh, or whatever. That that was the. Uh, here's Bernetta Hinter Thur. And you saw the uh, scissor tail. Uh huh. And he was out there at the uh, prairie. He was. Uh, and was, here we go looking uh, at uh, assassin bug or uh huh. On uh, well, he's a, a on wing winged uh, foot button willows. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> winged foot bug. And there's a small one on the right there. They were close I friends see. when yeah. I first started taking pictures of them. And here's the the uh, eight spotted forester on a uh huh. On and a, these are crops, of course, trying to get that thing lit right next to me. Right. And it was almost exactly, I think, where you're, I saw really, that one. You're really lucky. Uh, two weeks ago, and quick. Yeah. And uh, showed you one picture, and it was not right. clear at all. This young family lives in my neighborhood, and they were out on the Pinnacle Prairie Trail. Yeah. And they look great, but the uh, you can see the trail work is hasn't been it's not been repaired since I the, the railroad came in there, there and tore it up. But anyway, this happy family walking out there and enjoying it. Till next time, John. Till next time. See ya. Hello, John Rule. Hello, this is our sir. second segment on the tenth of July, twenty seventeen. And let's see. Pinnacle Foods Wet Prairie. This is Swamp Verbane or mm. Swamp Verbena. And Very it's pretty. not as plentiful this year as I've seen it in the past, but things get 
you know, yeah, they've different there. things take over. Right, and, right. And depends on how much the rain and when it comes and what time of the year it's right. been mowed Lots and that kind of thing. Yep. So um, this is a uh, brown-eyed Susan, and there's an assassin bug right. on it. Right. And then you see uh, Blazing Star for sale downtown. Uh, and so in the uh, people there. buy some Beautiful. there, and they convince those sellers to sell up some they can Our plant blue. themselves. Yeah. And Wild Street is one of the good places to buy things down there. Mm -hmm. Land donation from the Regional National Cemetery Improvement Corporation uh, was, was just held uh, uh, in the 150th anniversary right. of the National Cemetery. And here's a, a spotted St. John's wart. See the specks on the I yellow? I do. I saw the spots. So and right. here's a, a uh, milkweed. Uh -huh. And here's a uh, meadow beauty, and it's got a critter on it. That's how I select pictures a lot of yeah, times. Which one great. has a that's bug great. on it? Right. And now we get to Sebacea angularis, which is also known as rose pink gentian. And I should have blown it up a little bigger, and I probably did, but I didn't find it when I was putting this list together. Oh, I see. And uh, but these are. Uh, Beautiful things out there. What do you think of this great, guy? A great shot of a dragonfly. I don't he's multi. I don't think I can count the spots, but he probably has at least twelve. Uh, yeah, could be. <laughs> Got four, four wings and and uh, at least two on each of them. Uh, but actually, no. There's more than. Two on each of them. There's like three. Right. So it'd be a twelve spot skimmer, yeah. maybe. And here's a a uh, sensitive briar and uh, uh, what's that behind about lobelia? Lobelia. Yeah. yeah. And here's blazing star, the actress in the wild. And well, I you can see I, those spikes back behind. Back you know, there. Some, That's the same yeah, thing. The, yeah. Same thing, and but sure. there's just a few of them out there. Yeah, there have been more in past years. I think I just can't see them yet. Right. But the fact is, they never increase. Right. Because it's so much. There's so much uh, other stuff taking over. Okay, this is the uh, hairy wild petunia yeah. with a grasshopper on it, right. and then you see mountain mint and see different. Two different insects on it, right? But uh, there again, picked for the insects. Right. Recognize that? At the moment, I don't. Joe Pie. Joe Pie weed, yeah. Right. Joe Pie, purple Joe Pie weed, and uh, Turk Cap Lily, and the uh, Naked Lady Lily, surprise in Lily bloom. Type. Okay, they're both in my front yard, but I better right. not uh, catch anybody jerking right. those out. <laughs> That's all right. This, this one's uh, this you saw another uh, golden. Okay, here's a thing that wanted to bite my yeah, hand, I'll but I got his here. picture uh, and didn't let him bite my hand, and, no, and he went on about good. his business. Yeah. And Is this um, a flower fly or something. Uh huh. And uh, it's uh on uh, a, well, I think it's on the leaf of a privet, actually, a non-native oh, uh -huh. bush, right. but that's where I caught him and, yeah, privet's and really uh, best. got a close-up of yeah. it. Until next time, John Rule, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. See you.